Hi folks. Welcome back to the Horde. You know, I just want to share a small piece of advice with you. I saw I saw some um, family over the weekend, and many of you know I retired in um, in January, January 1st, I retired. Um, and I retired with a lot of mixed emotions. And because, you, you know, you retire, there's less money, and, you, you know, you got to figure out how to do medical, and, you, you know, there's, there's, retiring is not just, a, you know, like being born, right? It, you, you know, something that happens to you, and, and you, you know, what a piece of cake. You got parents to kind of teach you how to do it. Retirement's one of those things you really, really have to kind of figure out on your own. So anyway, I retired in, um, in January, and this is the first time I saw a bunch of these these family members. And they were asking me what it was like, and I told them, I said, you know, I, I have to tell you, being retired is like, um, kind of like getting out of jail with a full pardon, you know. Um, money's tighter, but, y you know, generally speaking, I have enough to get by. Um, you know, medical's a pain in the neck, but, y you know, we're figuring it out as as we're going along. And you would hope that most people would say, oh, God, it's great, you retired, big smile, and all that stuff. What I got was a bunch of pouty faces from the folks that were all still working. I'm never going to get to retire. You're so lucky, you know, on and on and on. And I kind of looked at them, and I thought to myself, you know, I could be sitting here giving you a nice fancy story about retirement. I could be the most miserable bastard in the world and everything else. Y you know, why are you all unhappy about, y you know, the discussion we're having? I mean, they truly were not, they were miserable. They were unhappy. And I'm kind of looking at them and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It really doesn't matter in your case whether you're retired or not or working or not, or win the lottery or not, because I don't think you're going to be happy. And here's the piece of advice that I think everyone should live by. It doesn't matter what your neighbor has, what your friends have, what the clowns on TV have. The only thing that matters is what you have. Play the cards you're dealt and enjoy your life. There will always be somebody with more money than you are, somebody who's taller than you are, somebody who's prettier than you are, somebody who's more handsome, somebody who grows a better beard, somebody who has a thicker head of hair, somebody who has a longer dong, somebody who has something that you think you would want but you don't have. Well, you know what? Forget it. You got your cards. Play them. Enjoy your life as it is. You get to retire early, good for you. If not, enjoy your work. If you don't enjoy your work, figure out a way to get a better job. You know, go to school, <laughs> you know, go to Indeed and look, you know, move, do what you got to do. Your life is your life. Play your cards. Don't be thinking about what everybody else has got. Oh, well, you know, Trump's a billionaire. Well, good for Trump, you know. Well, so-and-so this, you know, this movie star. I wish I had a dime for every movie star that died way too early. So for all they got, they don't live long enough to enjoy it, you know? So folks, my advice. Doesn't matter what's on your brother's plate or your sister's plate or somebody else's plate. That's their plate. Ignore it. It's not your plate. You don't want their plate. You got your own plate. You know, you might wish yourself into somebody else's life. Well, first of all, you're wasting yours because you're spending too much time of thinking of someone else. And secondly, to that matter, what do you know about their life? Are they going to be dead tomorrow? Are they going to have some huge tragedy come into it? So yeah, they were lucky when they were in high school, when they were good looking and got the, uh, you know, the cheerleader or the football star or whomever to go uh, to, go to the prom with. But... What's next for them? Do they really have a successful life? Do they really enjoy their time? Do they have fun? You know, and if the answer is, well, actually, 
don't is it doesn't even matter if they're enjoying their lives and having fun the only thing that matters is your life don't wish it away play the deck play the cards play the hand you're dealt doesn't matter what everybody else is doing doesn't matter what everybody else has nothing matters what matters is you and you having your life you having your fun you enjoying your time and if you're not figure out a way to make it better it's up to you ain't nobody gonna give you nothing I'm old enough now about to turn 58 I'm old enough now to realize nobody gives you nothing the only thing you have is if you wake up tomorrow is the day that you woke up to you woke up your knee hurts walk a little slower but get out of bed and walk you you know you wake up can't see out of one eye well let's hope the other one holds up you got to get up you got to get out you got to have fun and you got to forget about everybody else if you're looking at somebody else to make you happy if you're looking at somebody else's life and you're jealous of it you're already losing you want to be truly happy be happy with what you got and be happy with what everybody else has you want to be ah just say well this is what I got, this is what they got, who cares? You want to be truly miserable? Look at what everybody else has and expect them to share it with you. They're not going to and you're going to be miserable because no one shares. Make your own life, make your own fun, have your own good times, forget about everybody else. It's none of your business, it's not your life, and once again, you don't know what else is going on in their lives. It's very easy for somebody to show up at your high school reunion or the prom or the dance or to work and to tell you about, look at my new boat. You know, you don't know if they have any money in a 401k or you don't know if it's on credit. You don't know if it's going to be repossessed tomorrow. You don't know if they're going to be unemployed. You don't know if that boat's going to sink and take them and their family to the bottom with them. So don't worry about them on their boat. If they out, invite you on the boat, show up, bring food, give them some money for gas, and enjoy your day. And then when you go home and you're in front of the TV, they're the poor bastard out there washing the boat. So wish them good luck. Maybe even help them wash it. But once again, they're not worried about it sinking. You're not worried about it sinking. They are. Anyway, folks, just a little free advice from Harvey. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. But trust me, your life won't be happier by being jealous of other people's lives. Bye now, folks. Remember, keep your feet down. Keep your head up. And please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.